So my teenage daughter took an interest in custom Air Force Ones. So I thought I'd try to surprise her for Christmas by painting her a custom pair. My first attempt at gradient mountains. I couldn't quite catch the vision I was looking for and I chickened out and I painted over it in solid colors. Uh, the result looked really good, but it wasn't 100% her style. And after a month, she hadn't worn them yet, so I just decided to start over, but uh, this time with her input. After scrolling through her vast Pinterest board ideas, we settled on going back to white. <laughs> so off came the laces again. In order to do this, I went through uh, quite a few cotton pads and a fair bit of 100% acetone. Uh, regular nail polish remover did not work uh, because it is usually diluted with quite a bit of water. Uh, even though it doesn't even tell you that on the bottle. So I bought a can of the good stuff at the paint store. The dark colors uh, took a little bit of elbow grease and the stitching and the tongue were permanently stained after but it was a workable canvas. In hindsight I wish I'd masked the soles and the tongue uh, tag prior to stripping but I'll show you how I improvised to fix that later. So this is what they looked like after they were completely stripped down. I ordered Angela's Shoe Company leather paint, which was an acrylic uh, specially designed for flexible leather canvas or vinyl applications. Uh, it took three coats of white. Once I was happy with the coverage, I was able to start on the artwork. My daughter had chosen a rainbow ombre dripping swoosh, uh, which really scared me at first because I wasn't sure I was going to be able to accomplish this without using an airbrush or some fancy tools. But the paint was quite nice to work with and I was able to rinse my brush uh, and switch back and forth in between each color until I achieved the desired blend. Uh, the next daunting task was repeating this step four times and trying to complete the second coat, trying to match the same blending I had done the first time. So that there is the first coat, and I'm not sure if you can see it, but there is uh, quite a bit of brush strokes visible, and this is why it's recommended with the Angelus paint that you use very thin coats and several coats instead of trying to lay it on real thick. So this part actually took the longest of all the part, all the uh, steps that I went through. So those pictures were from the first coat, but after the third coat they started looking real fine, uh, except for the uh, ugly grey and pink acetone stains that were on the fabric and tags. So I decided that since the acetone didn't seem to affect the fabric too badly, I could get away with creating an acrylic wash of sorts, mixing a little bit of black paint and a couple tablespoons of acetone, and I brushed it on with a soft brush and allowed the fabric to wick the stain. Uh, being super careful not to get it on my fresh paint job. Um, I'll be honest, there were a couple touch-ups to do with the white and I had to decide to stop myself when I was getting too meticulous. But once it was dry, uh, the fabric was well stained but not crunchy, like if I'd used concentrated paint on it. Uh, I would highly discourage people from trying to use uh, paint on the fabric because it would cause a lot of discomfort on the ankle if somebody was wearing these shoes with low-cut socks. Um, I did clean the soles again as good as I could with full strength acetone, but they did they were left with a, a slightly pink uh, hint, which wound up looking kind of cool, so it's all good. Starting to come together. 
Once it was all good and dry, I took it outside for a quick coat of varnish. I used Liquitex Satin Finish Varnish designed for canvas paintings from Michaels and I did three coats being super careful not to lay it on too thick. I was so excited to lace these back up because the vision was starting to come together finally. Um, I had originally rubbed some red paint into the metal epaulets on the base of the shoelaces and then I wiped off the excess to give them a touch of color. It turned out really cool. I could have removed it, but it looks so good with the rainbow that I left them that way for the finished product. I am quite happy with the turnout. I hope my kid will wear them this time. <laughs> uh, although I'm sure she's scared to now because they look too cool. I'm curious to see what kind of traffic and abuse they can stand up to. Um, if you're thinking of trying this at home, I approve and I hope that my experience can be helpful to you.